are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the join button and check out the merch. Folks, let's get into this. The NFL, the woke NFL, man. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised about this, but we need to talk about them, okay? First things first, they actually approved a 16 team playoff for this season if and only if they actually lose games because of the virus. That's it. But what we really need to talk about is really this woke diversity thing that they just approved. OK, it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And we're going to go in and talk about this, okay? It says here on ESPNs.com that Commissioner Roger Goodell said Tuesday that, that owners had, had approved two measures. It's expanding to a 16-team playoff from 14 this season. If future games are lost because of the coronavirus pandemic, if that happens, there will not be a reseeding for the playoffs. The vote was unanimous. Here's the kicker, folks. Incentives to reward teams that draft pick compensation, or I should say incentives to reward teams with draft pick compensation to third round pits. If they develop coaches and executives of color, Goodell made the announcement to reporters following a two hour virtual meeting among owners, despite the proposal on expanded playoffs, he said the NFL remains too committed to finishing the season on time. Teams that develop a minority assistant coach or executive who is hired for an open head coach or general manager position with another team would be awarded the pits at the end of the third round. NFL team owners already had approved a plan in March to expand the postseason to 14 teams beginning with the 2020 season. That plan inc increased the number of wildcard teams per conference to three up from two. So there you have it, man. And I believe that we may have put out a video on this, uh, this, uh, woke draft pit thing. You know, if you hire um, people of color and put them in executive positions, you know, folks, it doesn't matter what color you are. If you are the best person for the job, then you get the job. Me as a black man, I'm going to tell you guys this. I absolutely, man, do not. I don't want a job just because I'm black. And I think that the NFL is going to be opening up Pandora's box if this happens. So let's say, for example, man, Bill Belichick, all of a sudden he's on the market as a to get to get a head coaching position, okay? The greatest head coach of all time. And let's say you have me, middle of the road coach, I'm black. And a team owner is saying, you know what? We're gonna hire that black guy right there. We're gonna get that um that that pick. Draft pits are very, very important. And people around the league would be thinking, wait a minute, you passed up Bill Belichick for this guy? Oh, we see what you did. We know what you did, man. That was a an affirmative action hire right there because you guys wanted the draft pits. That's all it is. Folks, we need to get rid of this uh, color thing. We really, really do. It should not even matter. But you know what, guys? I'm not even really surprised. I'm really, really not surprised that this has happened. This is 2020. This is Walt Sports and the NFL owners have approved this garbage. Is anybody really, really surprised? I know I'm not. Nothing shocks me anymore when it comes to wokeness in sports. I'm all for, you know, having minorities in head coaching positions and in, in executive positions. I really, really am. But this is definitely not the way, man. This is not the way, because if you start seeing 
you know, more quote unquote diverse hires come in and you see these teams starting to get draft picks, everybody's going to know what the deal is. They were hired because of the color of their skin and not for the content of their character and not for their head coaching ability or their executive abilities. They're hired for strictly because of their skin color. This is embarrassing. This is insulting folks, but that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? The NFL going more woke than probably ever before. I guess we should have saw this coming folks. I guess we should have saw this coming. This is ridiculous, man. Hiring somebody based on the color of their skin. And that's pretty much it. You know, if teams want to have a development program, you know, that's great. But this is absolutely insanely stupid, folks. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.